Hello everyone, I'm 60 for Shadow Ninja and welcome back to Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. This is part 2 and last time we did the beginning of the end and Hazard Room. Now we're going to go into an Opera of Fear. Now I did this before but uh, I, I just didn't, like it didn't record because I forgot to hit record. And so I'm going to do the setup and then we're going to just continue the episode and then continue from there. Uh, I hope none of you guys mind and with that aside, Let's go and get started. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback, where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music, and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. Sly Cooper and the gang, in... An Opera of Fear. One of my favorite episodes. Alright, so, with that aside, we found out that our friend Murray might be in Italy, so let's go and try and find him. Alright, yes, sir. Okay, uh, I was waiting to see if there was probably going to be any dialogue. So, seeing as we don't have anything else that we can do in here, let's go ahead and choose Sly and find the mission we need to do. Oh, it's just right here. Alright, now about the coins, uh, I'll probably grind on that off screen. But for right now, we're just going to go ahead and do this mission. That massive dope marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Yes, there's always a way, especially when it's all conveniently placed for you. Right? Alright, okay, anyways. So, we're heading up to the police station to see if we can possibly find Murray. Or possibly find anything that's related on Murray. Maybe. Who knows? Nice Let's get started on this. I've got the blueprints to the vent system in front of me. I should be able to guide you to the jail cell. Hey, Murray? Is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper, you've got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Bolivia! Wait! 
to think of something to keep quiet. I could try... If those cops deal. get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out. And then I'll get the double sentence. Grief! <laughs> He's right. It'd be tough getting him out of here. I need a plan. Maybe I could... How about get the cops, the cops attention and then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cut lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention. Yeah, I might want to do that, especially since I'm trying to break you out, and those don't look like bunnies to me. Do they look like bunnies to anyone else? They don't look like bunnies to me. I've seen a bunny before. And they didn't look like... Anyways, let's get over here and get this key to get Dimitri out, and maybe we'll find our friend Murray. Here we go. Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. Yes. I think you can be... Yeah, you can be in this room when the lights come back on. But uh, if you're out there and the lights come on, you're busted. Really? Alright, come on. Ugly, ugly man. <laughs> come on. Alright. There it is. It just stands off for a good amount of time, so you could probably make it all the way over here. Time it right. In other words, you'd have to stop when you get here. On, off, on, Those still don't like bunnies. They'll like... I don't know what are those things. I would say like an ape. But... I don't know. They don't even look like apes, really. Let there be light. Almost there. Just gotta wait for the power to go out one more time. Alright, here we go. We're gonna free Dimitri, and then we're gonna distract the cuffs, and we're gonna find our friend, maybe. Can you really oh, crack yeah, that's right. We gotta do the other sure, lock as just well. Takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, Indeed. bro. Like a ninja. I swear. The touch Bring of a ninja. And I'll hook you up with that place for like a swan. Dig. This safe will be tough to crack, oh, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly. Oh, come on. I got this. I can usually get this on the first try. I just. Then go the other I can't talk again, and do this at the same time. Then reverse right. direction again and stop when you get the third vibration. All right, there we go. The okay, I knew I could. Do it. Let but, the stick and you're in. Yeah. I'll do like I promised and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway, I'll password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge, big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. Indeed. Not a show for everyone to enjoy. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper! Grab him, man! And I'm out. With only one cop chasing you because the other ones weren't in the mood for exercise. This was just training, by the way. It was all planned. So, yeah. It's legit. Probably had some donuts stashed away. Waiting for the inspector to go away and so they can get it all out. You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward. What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. 
Alright, so here we go. Now, don't worry about breaking those rules because you won't get anything from them. And also, make sure you're still, you keep going. Because if you stop, she might hit you because she's actually got some really good aim. So, here we go. Just gotta get away over here. And so far, we have not managed to fail one time. So far. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Okay, cool. So if you hit X at the right time on those, you can bounce higher. I didn't know that until now, so I feel stupid. You got no uh, also, you might have to jump this choice on this just to avoid that. Greetings, old Inspector Fox! Man, you're in it again! Hope that manhole works both ways. That's right! Hide in the sewers like the rat you are! Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Marie, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru and his wisdom told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on, I'm on a real spirit quest here. Sorry, sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? Indeed, it's an awesome story. I bet any story you tell is awesome. Well, that job is complete. We found Murray, and we freed Dimitri, and we escaped Inspector Fox. So now we're back at base, and Murray it seems like a cutscene. the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected. As non-law operatives, we'll be able to tackle this situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's opera house. If he's hiding anything, we'll find it. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Alright, so we found Murray and Bentley already has a plan for us to take down this guy. Um... Alright, I'm gonna skip the hazard room this just for this one. Uh and I'll probably do it in the next part. I don't know. But for right now I'm gonna just leave it and let me know in the comments if y'all want me to do the hazard room along the story and only or just avoid it until I have to. But for right now we're just gonna continue with the story. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do Bentley uh his mission. I think he only has one at this point. And I want to just go ahead and get that out of the way. Because I think his was the quicker out of the two. Alright, come on. Get out of here. Die already. Die. Ah, I'm on fire. Well, you know what? I'll just run. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a dog here, isn't there? Alright, so where do I need to go? Way over there? Can I just go around here? Just avoid everything? Alright, I probably have to go up on the roof, huh? Nope, I just have to go right over here. Alright, so the canal chase. Hey Sly, you better get over here. My sources tell me that Octavio has hired the Blue Viper Gondola Gang to take out Carmelita. The Blue Vipers? Those guys are nasty. We've got to get to them before they get to her. She's off on her daily patrol. The thugs can't be far behind. On my way. Just make sure to have one of those police boats hot-wired by the time I get there. Let's see. Just cross the blue wire with the red wire and shazam! 
Just in time. There Shazam. goes the Vipers. I'll shoot. You drive, Sly. Alright. So... We're on a chase here. We got to take out some... This canal uh, what is they call them again? Shipping. Make sure to jump and weave or we're sunk! Let's the Vipers? Take these guys out. Sorry, Sly. I wonder why I had so much even. trouble yes, I with this part of the past. Burst. Ah, that. I don't remember everything, so I'll probably look really stupid for. Me. I just don't remember where the jumps are and everything. It's been a long time since I played this. Ah, uh, but yeah, I used to have a lot of trouble with this part. I didn't know exactly what I was supposed to be doing, so it was kind of weird to say the least. Scratch one blue bike. All right, that's one down. Okay, we got one more. We got two more to go. Here. One. We can. Oh, okay. We still got a good enough help. No. Still got to get him out there. All right, come on. All right, two of them almost down. If I can just sit in. One. He's almost there. I can see it. On. Nice shooting, Bet. There we go. Two down. One more to go. Yeah, but it's me shooting. Well, he's not doing anything. I mean, he got this boat running. That's something that I can do. But shooting parts on me. He's not doing anything to that. On. Ah, oh, I forgot that drops. All right, now I'm hitting everything. Yeah. On. Way to go. Yeah, got all three. That's the end of the Blue Vipers. Blue Vipers, that's what they were called. Well, we took out the Blue Vipers, and Spectre Fox is safe. So here we are into the next part. Another uneventful patrol. This city is beautiful, but a bit quiet for my taste. If only she knew. <laughs> I hope you realize that by saving Carmelita, we're only making our operation here more difficult. Maybe so, but what's the fun in stealing if there's nobody trying to catch you? Besides, she's helped us out in the past. That, and you've got a thing for her. And I've got a thing for her. Look, I'll stash this boat. It might be useful for later. You stay out of trouble. And job complete. We saved the Spectre Fox from the Blue Vipers. So, let's head on back to HQ. And I think I'll end it off once we get back to HQ. Um, so yeah, for right now, let's just try and get back alive. Oh, no. Right. Um, I'm wrong going. Alright, well that didn't go well. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and end it off right here. And I'll see you guys in the next part. When we take on one of Sly's missions. And that'll be it for now. And I'll see you guys in the next part.